still in the golden state. New employment laws require an $11 minimum wage for businesses with more than 25 workers. It goes up a dollar a year until it reaches $15 per hour. Craig Hugh is with us. He's a small business owner in California. You don't like doing business in California anymore, do you? You know, Stuart, it's a nightmare for business owners. 5.5 businesses a week are leaving California. It's, it, millennials are leaving. Business people are leaving. Anybody who's retired, they can't afford to live in California despite our weather. And the Democrats and the progressive liberals in Sacramento, they say it's a weather tax. Well, I tell you, it's got to change and we got to drain the Sacramento swamp. But you know, it's not going to change. You're not going to change that swamp. The, the, the groups of people that you're up against in California will overwhelm you. You have no prospect of serious change in California. I've got to be honest with you, you have no chance. Well, you know what? I know that's the perception, but the reality is this, that we have two major problems. We've got the unions that have such a stranglehold on the politics in California, and then we have this massive voter fraud that's going on, and, and that's a major problem. What, but what, the what's the, what's the voter up. fraud? Now, wait a second. I wanted to ask you about this idea that uh, the motor voter law, where an illegal can get yes. a driver's license, and when you front up mm -hmm. to get that yeah. driver's license, you're registered to vote. Now, that's a system yes. which is just opening up all kinds of voter fraud because you cannot police it. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Well, Stuart, we've had voter fraud even before this, but this is happening on April 1st. It's a terrible joke on, on the entire United States because it's going to affect Congress and the Senate race as well as the state races and, and the Electoral College vote in 2020. And, and basically what it is is the California politicians, the, the socialists in Sacramento, knew what they were doing. They wrote into the law that if somebody who was not a citizen and they registered to vote, and if they voted, they would not be held legally liable for that. It doesn't matter if it's an accident. It doesn't matter if it was on purpose. They're held harmless from illegally voting. And the fact is that this makes it so easy now. You know, there, there's a lot of deception by the politicians in Sacramento that are outright lying about this. They're not telling the truth because it's not in their self-interest. Yeah, all we need to have is an audit, an audit of, of the voter records, and it will prove that there's massive voter fraud. Let, Look, me, let me give you one more example. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. The one more example is this. Uh, I have uh, three kids who have left California. They're millennials. They couldn't live here. Hmm. Well, these three kids still get their ballot at my house, and that's duplicated all ca across California. People born in the 1800s have been, uh, been the voting. We have anybody who changes their name and uh, they're on, this, on the voter list. If they, some people are on five different locations. This is going on and the Secretary of State and the California politicians are doing nothing. Jeff Sessions, Congress, somebody has to make a demand that there's honesty. That's the bedrock of our republic. Craig Huey, we will continue to push on this, especially that motor voter registration law, which is yes. outrageous. So, thank you very much for being on the show. Come back again, yes. too, please. Got it.